Hey guys, welcome to RPA feed and in today's session we will be looking at new features of A360 version.24 release. So let's get started. So in this video we will be going to co uh, we'll be covering these seven features that are added into .24 release. That doesn't mean .24 release only has these seven features or these are the only seven features that are important or that they are top. It's nothing like that. It's uh, completely my take. Like these are the features you must know, but there are n number of other features in this release. You can check it out on official documentation page. With that, let's get started. Let's see all these seven features in detail. So first is enhancement to AI sense recorder. So you can now use AI sense recorder to automate applications that uses Japanese and the combination of Japanese and English interfaces. So this is an enhancement or you can say an extra capability being added to your AI sense recorder. I will not be going to demonstrate this. Let's go. Let's move ahead. So second one is JSON package. This is completely new package that has been added uh, officially as a part of package to A360. So in this package, you have four actions. So start session, end session, get node list and get node value. We'll cover this package as a separate video. Then we have new option in catch action of your error handling. So there is one checkbox uh, which you if you enable so in case there is an error right you without throwing an exception you can you can proceed like your bot can move ahead to the next action if you click this uh, if, if you check uh, check this checkbox on error continue with the next action so this is the new option then we have google document ai package so this is uh, this is the one which is really exciting and uh, which is a must try pack uh, must try package. So we'll be having a separate video covering uh, Google document AI package. So for now underst uh, understand like this package enable us to extract text from variety of images using Google AI or Google's pre trained document parsers. So currently this package has three actions connect disconnect and extract. We'll covering this in a separate video. We'll prepare some document or uh, use case and then we will try to cover this up. Then we have auto scroll support in bot editor. So when you drag and drop uh, or like when you drag and drop actions from the left pane right of your bot editor and then uh, if you have n number of lines like uh, 20 30 lines and when you drag that action earlier auto scrolling was not happening so once you pick your action from the left pane and try to drop it down in the editor window then there is an auto scroll functionality which is being enabled now so you can you can drag it uh, anywhere or you can move up and down with your mouse being pressed so this feature is supported in both flow and list view. Then we have improvements being done to recorder package. So recorder package now supports conditional object detection when using edge in I mode. So this currently includes loop package, wait package and if package. So you can you can explore this uh, uh, using these three packages. Then we have two new default variables sample number and sample string. So the prompt assignment variable will no longer be available now. So as you can see in the image, you have these are the two variables uh, for your storing your number data type and storing your string data type. Uh, those are by default created by the platform. So that's all guys. Uh, as far as the seven features were concerned. If you like this video and if you feel that is you can spread this information, please like this video, share it, 
and subscribe to the channel. If you have any concerns or any doubt, please mention in the comment section or you can email us at contact at the rate See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.